I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And today we're gonna to be talking about things were falling into place. You know, Margaret, when we meet somebody new and the chemistry is good, mm -hmm. it can really overwhelm us oh, absolutely. and take over our life. It's the ultimate high. It is the ultimate high. Absolutely the ultimate high. And when we're in that state, we're not thinking about you know the issues of like i don't really know this person i don't know who they are i don't know what they're capable of i don't know about their history their relationships anything but i know that when they hug me it feels really good mm -hmm. and so we get so overwhelmed by that and the excitement of what comes along with those things that we just go with it and it kind of falls into place mm -hmm. So I've got an email coaching that I wanted to share. Um, and this is from a couple uh, that the woman was in her late 20s and the boyfriend was in his mid 30s. Okay, now they dated for about six months until he blindsided her with this breakup, okay? So she goes on to say that we met online and both instantly clicked, which doesn't happen often we've learned to dread those words yeah i mean sometimes it winds up being okay yes, but it does. you know often yeah yeah often it's blinding i think is what you're saying yeah yeah she says everything started off great we went on dates he sent me flowers he would pick me up i'd cook for him and he'd stay the weekend i started staying over his house on weekends as well things really felt that they were falling into place and so far i mean everything looks great yes it does you know he's buying yeah. her flowers yeah. he's making yeah. a real effort they're spending time together so what happens we both expressed that we weren't looking to just mess around so now it looks like they're on the same page mm -hmm. off the bat he expressed wanting to take things slow or they would fizzle out I later found out that he had been engaged three years ago and they called it off a month before the wedding. Wow, that's a fizzle all right. Mm, yes. Now here was the thing that stood out to me. The next thing she wrote was, he expressed it was a mutual decision. Mm, no. No. <laughs> Not a month before. No. Uh, what my gut instinct is, is that he ended it a month before. Maybe he got scared. Maybe he didn't want to go through with it. Mine too. Yeah. And now he, instead of want to own up to it to her, because then she's going to be reserved to trust him. He's saying, well, it was a mutual decision. Oh, a month before the wedding? I don't think so. Yeah. That sounded really suspicious to me as well. Maybe. And that's why I was like, hmm. I don't believe this. So that's a red flag for me. That mm -hmm. I, me too. I, 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 is it possible that it was a mutual decision? Yeah. yeah. Do I think so? No. no. <laughs> and neither of us do. No. So that's telling, right? Uh, so she goes on to say initially we talked every day good morning, good night texts, calls, the whole nine yards. A couple of months in, I began wondering why we had never talked about being boyfriend and girlfriend. However, I wanted him to take the lead and didn't want to scare him off. That's reasonable. Yep. Right? I think she's being Absolutely reasonable. Absolutely good for her. He had a boys trip planned. This is when I asked if we were seeing other people. So he had a what? A boys trip. Like he wanted to go away. Oh, he's going to go out with the boys. All yeah. right. Um, 
But now she's getting anxious, mm -hmm. and that's why I think she's like, all right, he's going away. Mm -hmm. He can do whatever he wants on this trip. Are we exclusive? Yep. He said we were exclusive. I felt okay. I noticed that he began being a little colder, mm -hmm. like every time we would have sex. He would leave the room, no cuddling or talking. Mm. When he was away, he told me he missed me, we talked, and everything was great. Once he got back, things got weird. Any thoughts on this? Not yet. Go ahead. He told me he felt I was pushing him away during sex. I told him I didn't know how, I f how he felt about me. So maybe she kind of was being guarded, mm -hmm. which, you know, she was a little sure. uh, unsure here. Yeah. To which he replied, what does that have to do with sex? Oh, good Lord. <laughs> we, I'm almost speechless. I know. <laughs> and even on the email reply, I made a little comment that I said, LOL, has he ever met a woman? Come, I said, come on. Of course, if you're going to have doubts and fears, that this person really cares for you and that they're really committed to it, that you're going to have your walls up. But this is also to totally separate feelings and sex, emotions and sex. Yeah. So apparently it's just a mechanical thing. And what's her problem? Unbelievable. He That's said, funny. Yeah, yeah, I thought so too. He said he liked me and wanted to see where this would go. However, after that night, things were odd. Interesting, right? Mm -hmm. He liked me, wants to see where things were going to go, but now it's odd because it's like, for him, he's like, but you're acting funny when we're having sex, and what does this have to do? You so he's taking no responsibility whatsoever, and when you say, let's see how things go, or, all right, and that can be a reasonable concept, mm -hmm. um, but somehow it's not when we're ready to make a decision is a little different from we'll see how things go. Yeah. And how are we going to judge how things go? Yeah. Yeah. We went away for a weekend with his friends, and I noticed that he was colder towards me. A couple of weeks later, he introduced me to more friends who were all married or engaged. I asked if I was his girlfriend and he got weird, saying how putting labels on it made things fizzle out. So well, I wonder what this has to do with the previous story of backing out, of, of ending the engagement a month before the wedding. You feel like it's re related yeah, somehow? Yeah. Putting label on things makes it fizzle out. Seems like me having to be responsible for your feelings or a commitment makes me want to run away. That's exactly <laughs> That's what it means. What I feel like it really means. I see a billboard in front of me flashing avoidant. Yeah. Do you see it too? Yeah. 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 But putting on a label thing, a label on things makes it fizzle. So you don't make a decision. You just go with the feelings. Mm -hmm. And you don't describe it or talk about it. Or, yeah. And how could she not be anxious right. with, with him acting like this? Yep. Of course he's going to set her off. Yep. Everything inside of her is probably thinking, he's going to leave me. Every healthy instinct she has is yeah. saying, get out now. Yeah. Yeah. I asked if he was wasting my time. Sounds like she was getting angry. Good for her. To which he got angry about the question, making me feel crazy for even asking. Oh, we just learned all about that. Mm-hmm. What do you think about this, Margaret? I don't like the way he's doing business at all. Now he's going to get. Now he's going to tell us she's crazy because she's not buying his line. Yeah. Yeah. I asked if he wanted to see other people. Of course, he's going to say no, no matter what. He's. I think he's just going to lie because he's being confronted. He said no, and that we're on the same page. We were even planning a long weekend together with another couple. Two days before meeting my sister, he broke up with me saying that he tried to push through, but didn't feel what we had to feel in order to be with me, but never gave a real reason. He may not know the real reason. Yep. Um, you know, maybe the seriousness of meeting the family 
was exactly that's freaking oftentimes them out. that oftentimes spooks people. The minute they meet the other person's family, it feels like some kind of a commitment. Yeah. Yeah. She goes on to say, I just don't understand what happened. Why didn't he ever express being unhappy so we could work on things? You want to start with that? <laughs> he probably doesn't understand much of what happened. I'm going to guess that he doesn't. He sounds pretty oblivious. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he does, really. Uh, why didn't he ever express being unhappy so we could work on things? I bet that other woman asked the same question. <laughs> I bet you're right. <laughs> <laughs> when he ended the relationship a month before the wedding. Yeah, which was supposedly mutual, but we're not buying it. No. He made a decision without me. This was three months ago. We haven't talked since. All he does is watch my stories on Instagram. Wait a minute. He made a decision without me, meaning what? To end the relationship. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like I not talk to her about what happened. All he does is watch my stories on Instagram. He didn't even wish me a happy birthday. Is there any chance we'll ever talk again? What do you think? Um, I would say there's a chance, but I think she needs to ask herself what's in it for her. I think that's the more important question. Yeah. Is not if he comes back, but is this really going to be something that is healthy for you? Because right. you sounded pretty unhappy yep. throughout most of this. Yes, because you had gotten mixed messages all the way along. Isn't this wonderful? This is swell. Mm -hmm. um, I'm enjoying this until you tried to pin him down. And then it was, oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's, wa he, he's curious enough about you to watch you on Instagram. Yeah. That's fine. Let him. But don't reach out to him. No, absolutely don't reach out you to him. You know? No. Uh, if he wants to do something about this, make him be the one to initiate and do something about right. this. Right. You know? Um, I think you have to be a lot more careful uh, if he does come back because you see what he's capable of and he could do it again. Yes, he could. And, and not only that, but he didn't even give her a real reason right. for doing all of this. Right. And probably what happened, and, and here's the irony, that if avoidance don't get attached, they don't break up. So he had obviously, you know, attached to her somewhat enough to scare him and probably give him anxiety attacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we don't know what happened with the other woman. No. Um, Skeptics that we are, however, mm -hmm. we're, we're betting it was the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he didn't seem to tell you anything about it. No. So um, I would be, if the minute I heard that story, I'd be like, no, not buying this. But the minute you put a label on it, it fizzles. The minute you take responsibility for it, it fizzles. I think I'd, I would translate that. The minute you own it. Mm -hmm. You say, we're in a pretty close relationship here. We haven't made any final decisions yet, but we're in a close relationship here. Mm -hmm. It sounds like that sends him into a tailspin. And it seems to me like he was saying, you know, I want to see where this goes just so he could keep hooking up with her. I would agree. That's why I think he was yeah. saying that. But that's a very tricky phrase. Let's mm -hmm. just see how things go. Mm -hmm. Don't pin me down. Just have sex with me. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's okay. essentially what I think he was doing. Right? I think that's important. Yeah. Um, you know... Of course, to some extent, you do want to see how things go. Yes, yes, absolutely. But when you put it in the context of everything else that's going on here, it doesn't feel right. And when you put a label on something, it fizzles, is simply delusional. 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 <laughs> it's, it's not true. I mean, if you looked at all the married people in this world, they probably made decisions. Yeah. They didn't just wait yeah. to see how it went for 20 yeah. years. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he reaches out in another few months and, and sends a message or comments on yeah. an Instagram story or something like that. I wouldn't be surprised me. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, what does that matter? I mean, yeah, it might be nice that he shows you a little attention again, but ultimately you're looking for somebody that is invested in you and trying to see if you can build a relationship based on what I'm reading here. What would we like for her to say to him if he gets in touch with her? Drop dead? 
That would be good. <laughs> Just kidding. Go, go try to manipulate somebody else. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think I would say, you know, I'm a little surprised to hear from you. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you, you didn't really give me a reason. Mm -hmm. uh, what's going on? How are you? And then see what he tells you. But don't just settle for more of this we'll see yeah. breadcrumbing. No. no, and don't settle for the statement of fact mm -hmm. that putting a label on things makes them fizzle. That is simply not true. Yeah. That's part of the process of decision making. Yeah, and I take and I would want to know a lot more what happened with this other woman so he was engaged I, to. Yeah. And she doesn't mention anything about, we don't know anything about his growing up or any of that. No. I mean, this man may have all kinds of reasons to be avoiding, but you can't keep doing this to people. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So and I, I think with many avoidance, they really do want a relationship. And I think they only half know what happens when they keep having to end them. You know? Mm -hmm. So if he comes back and wants to work it out, Great. Be very, very careful. He, but do not join with him mm -hmm. in putting a label on it makes it fizzle. That is not true. Stand up for the truth. Yeah. Yeah. That's just some kind of nonsense that he yeah. says to get out of it. Right. Right. <laughs> exactly. All right. Uh, interesting situation. Very interesting. Uh, of course, if I you... I feel bad for her because I, do too. I bet you she's wondering what she did wrong. Yeah. And I don't know that she did anything wrong. Do you? Yeah, she may have um, been a little bit anxious and pressured him a little bit, yep. but um, it, it also could have been him that was triggering that. Yep. So, yep. you know, I don't want to say that she didn't do anything here because I do think she probably was a little anxious and trying to pin him down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But maybe if he had communicated better with her, she wouldn't have done she that. She wouldn't have done that. So, hard to say. But, um, of course, if you want to get our help with your situation, just go to my website, AskCraig.net. Sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype. And, of course, if you want to do a Skype coaching with Margaret, you can do that. If you feel that I can be helpful, please sign up. Just click on Margaret on the top of the website to do that. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And we will talk with you soon. To get my help personally, go to AskCraig.net and click on Schedule Coaching and choose the option that works best for you. I do email coaching or Skype. To schedule a coaching with Margaret, click on Margaret on the top of the page and order a Skype with her. For the Knowledge Creative Healing course, click on the link at the top of the page and click Get Started Now.